we'll be made one and in our last episode we filled up our bellies with some Italian pizza in front of the sunset in Vernazza, one of the towns of the Cinque Terre. And then we enjoyed the waves in a small town close by, Bonassola. Today we'll move up to visit the fifth most beautiful beach in Italy. Do you know which one is it? Follow us and you'll discover it. So much breakfast in parking lots. <laughs> so we are arrived in Sestri Levante and we are having our lovely breakfast. In front of the people that in front of the people that are looking at us like what are they doing? <laughs> Why they don't have breakfast in their own home? <laughs> yeah, These this are is <laughs> how people look at us. Yeah, this is a road trip, so we don't know this. Yeah, and they're so common to all the simplest things and all the normal things that yeah they're not used to have breakfast with a bowl outside. Yeah, on a bench. Because it, if if it was a brioche or a sandwich or something else, that wouldn't mind. But with a bowl, it's strange, and people mm. just look at it like, what? Breakfast with the view. Right, there are all the clouds there. There is Portofino, you can see it. Mm -hmm. You can see the Palo, Portofino, Chiavari. Wow. the most beautiful one of Liguria and one of the top 10 uh, beaches of all Italy but right now it's closed because for the virus they keep warm places so we cannot go but This beach called La Baia del Silenzio is the fifth most beautiful beach in Italy it's the classic postcard place one of the many extraordinary corners of the Italian peninsula. This bay has soft, clear sand and is immersed in an atmosphere of peace. It is a romantic and almost magical place, located 50 meters from the town with its colorful houses. Lunch with a view. A little. Let's go up there and love.
14 minutes. So if we go to Chiavari right now, it's 14 minutes. And I don't want to leave the car that are near the port. So, we arrived at a decision. <laughs> that for now, we are going to grab some fruits nice because we miss them so much in these days. We are eating so many vegetables, but not that variety of fruits. <laughs> So we are going to a bio shop, bio, 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 bio organic. Bio, organic shop here <laughs> to buy some fruits, and then we are going to see the place in Chiavari. It's um, free parking by the sea, and we see if there we can sleep and we feel safe. Otherwise, we decided to go in the camping, but I think that we will stay near the sea. So we can just stay there until whenever we want. At the end, guys, we ended up and buying not just fruit, but like we have also an agave, agave syrup, and we have bananas and mango. mango. There's soya dessert, and we Almost. have some other things. And now, guys, we are ready to go for our next destination. So we just started cooking but kindly a couple that it's behind this camp van just told us that the police always comes here and controls that we are not effectively camping so with no tables but you can stay like this maybe and with some chairs but no more so if you will ever come in this parking to sleep at night or you come with a camper van and you have everything inside there or you need to use your stuff but no tables oh, fresh rosemary there's the man that lives in this camper van that just gave us this fresh rosemary to put in our potatoes yes, the best combo oh my goodness guys and he gave us some so free salt salt you see we usually yeah, use the white Himala himalayan salt and this is the white one but it's free salt so <laughs> instead of I going know. to buy a new one we have it Oh my goodness guys oh when we park free like this it's always it turns out the best thing that we ever did because we find amazing people so kind and we have free things and and you have these kind of views them a worm. Yep.
absolutely amazing start of the day. We woke up and the sun wasn't rise like still but there was a first light yeah. and orange we light went orange. down to do some yoga by the beach and oh my goodness the sound me. of the sea was amazing and then dogs started arriving and then we had breakfast on near the next to the car with all those dogs that were playing and <laughs> missing Nala and Nikki so much yeah. and also we are in Chiavari right now yeah. and this is the town where my grandfather was born in one of these in 1934 1934 in one of these ones do you think know. yeah in Maybe. the seaside here. Yeah. So yeah, in one of these ones. Grazie. Mm. Much needed orange juice. This will be our camping for the next two nights. We already set up our tent right here. We just leave our tent because we don't want to bring so many things. And the only thing that we don't like is that there is the highway over there. And you hear the cars from here. It's not that loud, but you hear them at night mostly, and we think. But we decided to come here because Rapallo having a full car of things we don't really trust leaving the car in parkings when we stay outside one whole day so we preferred coming in a camping and pay the little more but being safe with our things and stay out all day hey dude where is america Thank you. Is there? Thank you. Let's go. This is the castle of Rapallo. We need to discover what what date is it because we don't know. And yeah, this is the main characteristic of this town. But also the houses are really beautiful. Yeah. All the decorations are really, really characteristic. Portofino guys that one and we are going tomorrow vegan ice cream and with, these are with so strange taste. tastes like uh, mango, mango and zafferano yeah and the other one it's is pistachio with, um, with uh, dark chocolate yeah. and uh, nocciola with and yeah this is the same ah oh. <laughs> and that one is oh. hazelnut, hazelnut I think so yeah, yeah oh my god <laughs> And we bought it here. It's called Gel Gelart. Gelart. Yeah. Well, we will link it somewhere. It's awesome, guys. Five euros for bo both. Yay. Simo. <laughs> I was I was putting some things for the mosquitoes, and I went far down with my head. The candle. And where is it? I've burned some of my hair. Oh my goodness! Me. Do we have to cut them? Yeah, I need to. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Bye bye. <sighs> it's all burned. I've smelled something that was a little bit strange and then I remembered that I had my hair that was 
hanging on top of the fire. Oh my goodness. There's space, there's space. Not too many. Otherwise then they pop out. No. We decided to make some popcorns while watching this movie that is called Togo. Yeah. And it's the real story about the um, difterite. Just that dog. Yeah. In 1925 when there has been this viral um, virus that it's called difterite. Difteride. Difteride, maybe. yeah. In Alaska. And put it, put it low, the fire. And yeah, Togo. <laughs> In the next and last episode of our road trip, we rent two bikes to go and visit Portofino, always considered one of the most beautiful places in Italy, a symbol of luxury and a destination for VIPs from all over the world. Subscribe to our channel and see you next Sunday. <laughs> Oh.